What's up guys, Jeff Graham here, and I know that $400 is just digging a hole in your pocket and you want to throw that in Blendtec's face for a Blendtec blender. But before you go and do that, watch this video. I wanted to talk about the drawbacks of this wonderful product. Don't get me wrong, I'm completely obsessed with Blendtec. I absolutely love these blenders. I'm so happy that there is a fantastic company like Blendtec which makes extremely high quality products that work extraordinarily well. It's not without its drawbacks, so let's talk about these in this video before you buy a Blendtec. Number one, loudness. The Blendtec is very loud. There's no questions about it. They have made an effort to reduce the noise by adding a third ball bearing in the gasket. However, I have not yet confirmed if this makes the unit any quieter. You will know that you have a jar with that third ball bearing if you look at the gasket on the bottom of the jar and it is silver. The loudness is also due to the fact that the Blendtec has a 3 horsepower motor, which is compared with the Vitamix's 2.2 horsepower motor. Number two. You need more than one jar. You can technically do thick things like nut butters and hummus in the standard Blendtec jar. However, you will have to stop about every few seconds to scrape the sides and push the nuts down the side. To compensate for this, the, the Twister jar. The link is in the description. The Wild Side jar plus the standard Blendtec jar does everything that a Vitamix does. Reason number three to not buy a Blendtec. The jar will get cloudy over time. You can overcome this by either putting the jar in your dishwasher or using this hard water spot remover called Lemeshine. You can go to their website and find out which stores near you sell Lemeshine. Also, do not grind coffee beans or make flour in the Blendtec. In the case of coffee beans, it will stain the jar a light brown. And in the case of flour, it will make small micro dents in the jar. Number four reason to not buy a Blendtec. It has this annoying splash guard thingy that you can see right here that is hard to clean. Food gets stuck in there when you use the blender and you have to clean it out. Number five, it can't make ice creams. I demoed the Blendtecs at Bed Bath & Beyond and Costco. With my expertise, I was able to get ice creams to be made. However, it would quickly melt and turn into a cold soupy type item. The only way to get some real ice cream that won't melt is to make ice cream out of blended bananas. Number six, if you get a designer series Blendtec and it gets even the tiniest bit of water on the touchscreen, it will not work. I always steered people toward the classic 575 blender since it did not have the touchscreen. And with that particular model, you will not have that as an issue. Seven, I would recommend getting a refurbished classic series Blendtec. As much as it pains me to admit this, refurbished machines are roughly $100 cheaper than brand new machines. You will lose five years on the warranty if you buy it refurbished. That is, it will be a three-year warranty instead of an eight-year warranty. However, I would still recommend going with refurbished. Number eight, you will be sent a refurbished machine free of charge if you ever make a warranty claim. If anything goes wrong with a new machine you buy, they will honor their warranty. However, they will send you a refurbished machine. That goes back to my previous point, which is that I would personally buy a refurbished classic 575 if I was purchasing a machine today. Number nine, sometimes it takes a while to get through to their customer support team. I believe their customer support team is understaffed. Thus, you can expect to experience long wait times if you have questions or want to initiate a warranty claim. You can also try to use their contact us form on their website to get the ball rolling. I will say too though, speaking from experience, that warranty claims can take a while. My brother-in-law began a warranty claim and it took him roughly two months to get the replacement machine. Number 10, the Blendtec is not dishwasher machine friendly. If you read the fine print in the manual, they say that it's only top rack dishwashing machine friendly. I however still do put it on the bottom rack and I have not noticed any sort of appreciable difference. However, careful with this because it could void the warranty on the jar and potentially the machine. And I'd like to summarize by saying yes, I still do recommend the Blendtec blender with my highest approval rating. But I recognize that it does have some flaws. However, I don't believe that these flaws counteract all the benefits which I talk about in some of my other videos. With that said, if you're interested in purchasing a Blendtec, just click on the description and it will take you straight to Amazon.com to purchase your very own Blendtec.